Happy New Year, Virgo. This is for the sign of Virgo the Virgin. Mercury will ingress the sign of Aquarius on New Year's Day in a direct transit. This will affect your sixth house of health, habits, and daily routines. Beginning on the 5th of January, Mercury turns retrograde, still in the sign of Aquarius, thus reversing your sixth house attributes to past regimens, past routines, past health habits. That's beginning the 5th. Now, starting on the 8th of the month, Mercury, now retrograde at this time, ingresses the sign of Capricorn, influencing your fifth house of creativity and children, albeit in a contrary manner to the energies that occur during the winged messenger's direct transit. So this starts on the 8th, while Mercury is still retrograde. But this is the ingress into Capricorn. Mercury then turns direct on the 25th of January, still in the sign of Capricorn, to bring forward movement to the innovated fifth house attributes. So it's like original, creative, fifth house attributes. It's, it's your creative projects, children, the Keikis and their creative projects, your own creative projects, those things. Now, Mercury is known as the attribute of God, the winged messenger, found in Acts chapter 14, verse 12. And they called Barnabas, Jupiter, but Paul, Mercury, because he was chief speaker. Now, let's see how your ruling planet of Mercury affects you this month, Virgo. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the astrology angel. Thank you for joining us. Your earth guardian archangel Uriel speaks through to you from your Virgo angel Hamaliel. The guardian angel Uriel is the earth angel who is the guardian of the north and he has rulership over the cold, dry winds of the north. Uriel rules over all the earth signs of the zodiac. And he speaks through to you now from your Virgo angel, Hamaliel, who's your teaching angel. And this is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Virgo angel, Hamaliel, who resides over the Virgin's mutable earth. And here are his messages for you in love, money, and health. So first, the love transmission from Hamaliel. The new moon is in Capricorn on the 9th of January 2016 Eastern Standard Time and occurs on the 10th of the month if you are using Greenwich Mean Time calculations. This subtle energy will refresh your fifth house of creativity and children as well as innovative projects. The full moon is in Leo on the 23rd of January 2016 Eastern Standard Time occurring on the 24th of the month if you are utilizing Greenwich Mean Time calculations. This bright energy will enliven your 12th house of spirituality that responds well to the imaginative nature of your ruling planet of Mercury. Now for Hamaliel's money transmission with the help of the earth angel Uriel, again in charge of the north and the cold dry winds, Beginning on New Year's Day, one should invest in companies or businesses that focus on providing pre preventative health routines and the avoidance of illness. So that's about companies that are into prevention, health, well-being, those kinds of uh, interests in those companies or businesses. Commencing on the 5th of January, investments in businesses or companies that rehabilitate those who have become overzealous in their health routines will become good opportunities. Because you can do, you know, you can overdo anything, basically, is what this is saying. Starting on the 8th of the month, investment opportunities will be available for those who want to invest in companies that are sound in their renovation of inventions long ago shelved, or helping kids who are brilliant, however easily distracted. The launching of new companies that 
foster fresh and brightly applied inventions and or help children which are considered prodigies become fortunate opportunities starting on the 25th of January 2016. For Hamaliel's health transmission, again with the help of the Earth Angel Uriel, commencing on New Year's Day, balancing and healing of the third chakra and small intestines as well as the gallbladder and liver is recommended. Initiate your dorsal towards ventral reversed key or prana technique starting on the 5th of January through the third chakra and meridians that feed the organs of said chakra. Beginning on the 8th of the month, begin to balance the heart thymus gland that's that's the the gland you need to work with uh, because that's the gland that gives you a good immune system or not and basically generates the fourth chakra and also the organs of the fourth chakra as well as the thoracic vertebrae although in a contrary comportment to the energies that occur during the planet mercury's direct transit as the orator of our solar system is retrograde at this point in time. Starting on the 25th of January, you may begin again to bring forward from ventral to dorsal circulation the movement of chi or mana, also known as prana, to circulate through the fourth chakra and around the top of the head. You can see that the uh, Catholic Church with the P and the X is giving you the secret about this circulation and various other modalities utilizing this. This month's lucky runestone prediction is next. The runestone gotten this month is Fehu for you Virgo. A month when uncertainty about what is not desired and true conviction about what is required will afford much happiness and the learning of how the application of the negative can be used to advantage. So remember that the negative side of things or seemingly negative have an important role to play for without some kind of opposing force nothing can occur. We have our fingers, and then we have our opposable thumb, which is basically the adversary, which is Hasatan. And that opposable thumb allows us to do what? To pick up tools and to build everything we have built. So this is how God uses the opposite portions of himself, his feminine side, to perhaps sometimes to give you an opponent or to test you so that you can become ever better at what you do. And this is an idea, again, uh, given by uh, Billy Phillips, Mr. Billy Phillips, who is a teacher of the, uh, at the Kabbalah Center. And he's a very good person to listen to. You should watch his YouTube videos at Billy Phillips 7, I believe it is, on YouTube. We watch those constantly. All right, now, for your disclaimer, high magic can be dangerous. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Don't try this at home. Remember to chant your divine tone of I analyze or try out the higher aspect of simply meditating on the quality of analyzing. Be wise, be well, be all you are meant to be, Virgo. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Join us again next month.